This Aima Sasuke costs about $25. It's no surprise that well-established lures are quite pricey, but what about the cheaper alternatives? Daiso is a department store that sells everything at $2. And they also make fishing lures as well. But the question is, do they work? So, in order to see whether these lures actually work, we decided to do something a little interesting. And that is to have a challenge. Before the challenge can commence, we first have to purchase the Daiso lures. This might seem as an easy task, but knowing that Marcus and I will be the people buying it, things are bound to go wrong. Yeah, so we came here, thought we took a wrong bus, and then here we are, only to find out that they are only sweet jigs. It feels good. So what now? I guess you are going Amokyo Hub. Me. We got Jabita by Ombio. We spent nine dollars. We thought Amokyo Hub had the Daiso. We are wrong. Ombio Men's Sports Hub. But the bad news is, we probably have to travel again on Tuesday. Give me it. You should be like, give me it. So basically, we traveled to three different locations today, only to find out that we didn't get the get the lures we wanted. Basically, we found out that these Dyson lures are cheap, but they're hard to find. <coughs> More difficult to find in fishing lures. And also, never ever trust Marcus with the orders because Bloody bought fucking two boxes of fried beef chicken. When we only wanted one, I thought about chicken, chicken nuggets. Right. So we finally got the Daiso lures and they are here today. Now let me just first emphasize, these Daiso lures were pretty difficult to obtain. We have to travel to total three different Daiso outlets to get all these lures. So here's what we have. First we have a Daiso uh, minnow lure which is sinking. We also have a, a shed, a, actually it's a crankbait style lure. And we also have a spinnerbait style lure which is something that's rather uncommon in Singapore. So here's how the challenge will work. There are three different Daiso lures and we'll all draw lots and pick one particular lure each. Now we have to stick to that lure and see who could catch the most amount of fish with it. Here are the rules to the challenge. Each of us will have one hour to try to catch as many fish as we can on the Daiso lures assigned to us. Every fish caught counts for one point but zebra celebra counts for two. Okay, since Marcus is a beginner, we'll let him choose what lure he wants. So what lure do you want? And he just fucked up. Okay, so <laughs> now Lester and I will contemplate between these two lures. Now the minnow is definitely something that you will choose and Marcus made a mistake by not choosing it. Okay, so the spinner bait we hit and the minnow will be tails. Okay, so just be able to so see who flip it. Okay, okay. Caesar's the first one. Shit. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the way you flip it is like Tails. Wait, what was tails again? <laughs> tails is a mirror. No, oh, that's his what? Are you ready? Oh, that's his. Wait. Oh, red. <laughs> the crest is The crest is tails. The crest is tails. So Lester got a mino. <gasps> and I got a spinner bait, which is probably the last row that I want from this lot. <laughs> okay, so let's start fishing. <laughs> Okay. The reason why I chose this lure is because 
it looks big and I mean big equals catch fish right he's never gonna win guys he's never gonna win okay so I brought the wrong setup and thank god I got a minnow because that should be the best lure for today feeling pretty good about it all right so the first person is gonna fish is Marcus so now he has a choice of his spot so we're gonna head over to his his desired spot How much are you gonna bet that he's gonna backlash on the first cast? I'm gonna bet my first cast. <laughs> what? what is that? So if he backlashes, I'm gonna backlash too. Marcus, your time starts now. Game backlash. He didn't backlash! And the rod and <laughs> hey, do you wanna share with the viewers what are your plans? In winning this, the technique they're using. I heard from somebody, not Ishan and Lester, that I'm supposed to cast a real wind slowly until the lure touches the bottom and then wait for it to float and then repeat, repeat the process. So maybe I'll get lucky and hit one. Only time will tell. So, what are your expectations, your predictions? For Marcus? Yes. Um, I think it's, he has no idea what he's doing. He's cranking way too fast. But we might get proof wrong. He might get the biggest zebra that I've ever seen. Shin, what do you think of how Marcus will do? Uh, I'm, kind, I'm kind of Marcus' mentor in a way that of course he's my cousin and I fish with him regularly. The only thing I'm worried about is his beginner luck. You never know. All these beginners might get really lucky and you never know man. It's 20 pounds ZT, God knows. But at the same time, from what I see, he's probably not going to catch anything. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Oh my oh god! Oh my god, guys! Holy crap. Oh my what god! What the heck? Oh my god! Oh oh my god. Count that, lah, count that! Count that, count that, count that! Oh! Oh, Alright, we'll count it, we'll count it. That's you a lane. You touch the fish, okay? You touch the fish. That's one point. That's one point! What the heck? You caught a big hook! Yeah, I recorded it off you, man. I thought you got a rock! Oh my god! I got a rock! That's one, one for much. We spoke too soon. We might actually be in trouble now. Can't underestimate Marcus. So, remember when I was talking about beginner's luck? Well, I think I shouldn't have said about it. He said that he's claiming that it's not beginner's luck, it's individual skill. But time will tell. And he's now a threat. 10, 9, nine 8, eight seven, 7, 6, six five, 5, 4, four three, 3, 2, 1 Done Marcus, you're done Opinions Marcus, how are you feeling right now? Uh, I'm feeling not that confident but I feel like I got a good chance to win this At, least, fish. at least maybe second place So now let's pass the time on to uh, Yishen who will be fishing next 
Okay guys, so it's my turn now and I'm not feeling so confident. Marcus got a fish and I have never caught a fish on spinnerbait before. So yep. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, so Ishan is the one that backlashes on the first cast. Okay, Ishan, have you used a spinnerbait before? To be frank, this is my first time fishing a spinnerbait and I have no idea what to do with it, but the tactic that I'm using right now is to just straight crank slowly along the bottom. Now I've used lures that are similar to the, spin, to the spinner bait, such as the Gomoku spin jig. So my best bet is to probably straight crank or lift and fall. Um, I'm not so sure whether the pandan fish will respond, but all I could do is really cross my fingers and hope for the best. This is my favorite quote that I always say to Marcus. Oh, that's a very good guitar there, man. I wanted to say a quote to Marcus, but never mind. <laughs> so you might notice that I'm using a different rod, different reel. Well, it's because, remember when I was about to say a quote just now? I actually snagged my lure, snapped the line, and lost the lure. So I tied on another one on Marcus' rod, and now I'm using it. But I'm still gonna say the quote because of how presumptuous I am. And that is, Marcus, luck can only take you so far. Well, I just want to say this to Ishan. They are using my rod now. Time check. Okay, you, you have less than one minute left. <laughs> okay, I count down. Okay. Ten. Oh, nine. Eight. Seven. Five, four, three, two, one, stop! Oh. Oh. <laughs> what do you have to say? It's a fluke. It's a fluke, guys. Since I didn't catch any fish, I have zero points and I'm basically out of the challenge. Marcus still has one point and he's still taking the lead. So it's up to Lester to take Marcus down. And there's a large amount of pressure on Lester's shoulders. Three, two, one, go. Begins. Since uh, I didn't catch anything on a spinner bait, obviously I want Lester to win. I mean, the faith of the angling society lies in his hands. If Marcus wins this challenge, both of us, we can't call ourselves anglers anymore. So I really hope that Lester will catch at least two peacock bears and seal the deal. However, I don't want him to catch too much too, you know, he might be cocky and shit. But yeah. 30 seconds in, nothing so far. Let's hope that he actually lands two peacock bears. So we've attracted out a bunch of spectators. You think you'll catch? You think we'll catch? No, no, no. No? <laughs> the guy said you won't catch shit then. They still got anything, see? I'll prove them wrong. Oh, yeah. Just when you thought the whole episode of snagging your line and using Marcus Rock is over, take a look at Lester now. I, I'm pretty sure you know what, what the situation is now. So yeah. I'm just saying man, I'm the more I'm the most reliable fisherman here. Like come on.
9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, stop! I win! Uh, expected. Expected. I, mean, I was always the better fisherman, you know. At the same time, from what I see, he's probably not gonna catch anything. <laughs> For Marcus? Yes. The thing is, he has no idea what he's doing. Okay guys, so we're gonna come into a, we're gonna come to a conclusion come to a conclusion of Daiso Lures. So let's start with Lester. How do you feel about Daiso Lures? They can work but they are quite tough to use against some of the more finesse tactics that our local anglers use because the fish in our local reservoirs are quite wary. So some of the lures are quite large or the action is quite erratic or it's very loud so it might be a bit too aggressive for the fish in Singapore. Marcus? Well, I think that the lures, I'm not, I don't know if it's just me, but I think they work pretty well uh, for a beginner like me. So I'm not really That's sure about the nitty gritty right. details, but they can catch fish as I have proved today. Uh, as for me, I caught nothing. Yeah, and uh, I'm using a slightly weird lure, lure that not a lot of anglers use in Singapore. Presumably, it's because it doesn't really work that well. You know, the spinner weight works, but of course, there are some flaws. Or to it as well because it's two dollars. So I think the conclusion that you can come to Daiso Lures is they work. We won't really recommend you to use it, but if you're on a budget or if you just want to try some cheap stuff out, go ahead. Things fair? Yes. Yeah. So for that we conclude this challenge episode and Lester and I is feeling Lester and I feel wait, how do I Lester and I we are I both feel. feeling very, very salty because <laughs> Marcus won. Like Oh my god, we doubted him at the start, but the dark horse rose up to it and he managed to slightly clinch this victory. So, if you guys want more challenge videos, just um, tell us in our comment, comment section down yeah. below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video to all your friends so you could make more videos for you guys. Okay, 